I've learned over the years that getting out of my own way is not only the hardest thing to do, but it's the most important thing to do. When we're locked into this human avatar, to this human identity, and we see the world from the perspective of the human being, that creates suffering. You are simply separated based on your idea, your very own idea of your own identity as this physical being. You're separated from your higher self and from your guides. That makes it next to impossible to be able to connect and actually become aware of a connection with your higher self and with your guides. That connection is always there, but something within our mindset, within our brain, shuts it off when we identify solely as the human. And it's not like we make a conscious choice to identify as the human. It's an unconscious choice because ever, you know, since we're born, go back to the moment you're born, you're dependent on external uh, beings, external forces, your parents. You're brought up in an education system. Maybe you have a religious background, right? You're always looking externally for some sort of balance, some sort of validation, some sort of identification, right? Where do we fit in with that? When you're in a mindset of separation, that's what you're trying to do is feel like or find how you fit in with the world. Well, the secret is you are the world. The world is a reflection of who you are. So if you're looking at the world through the lens of a separate human being, you are going to see or perceive or experience an environment where that reality shows you that you are a separate human being. Now, once you start to shift your mindset, you start to connect inward, so rely less on what's happening externally and connect inward, get into your heart, get into your root chakra, get into the lower chakras, start to assist your energy flow and get your energy moving, you start to connect with something greater. You are reminded that you are so much more than this human avatar. And once you start to realize that, and the challenge is, you may realize that, but then default back to the old programming of separation. But once you start to realize that, you start to cultivate that. You want to cultivate that feeling of awareness. So we do that by going back to it each and every day throughout our day. We breathe into the body. We meditate. We ground. We constantly remind ourselves that we are multidimensional, limitless beings. We are not solely this human avatar. And if you do that enough over a course of days to weeks to months to even years, that will start to become your default programming. Now, when you look out into reality, you will not experience, see, or feel as separate as you did before you gained the awareness that you are so much more. Now, you may be asking, well, how do I gain that awareness? How do I connect with that inner being that will remind me that I am more than this human avatar? Well, that can start with just the idea or the belief that you are more than the human avatar. When you sit with that energy, you sit with that knowing, with that information, and you feel it within every fiber of your being, that will allow more of that experience to come forward. So I know you may be watching this video saying, well, I'm looking so hard or so much for that magical multidimensional experience for that to validate to me that I am more than this human being, that I actually have a higher self, that I am, I am a soul, and that I have guides and I'm connected to others within this, within this universe. Well, that doesn't always come along in that fashion. However, you are likely experiencing synchronicities throughout your day. Maybe you're seeing 444 on the clock or 1111 on the clock. Maybe you're driving and you see a number that means something to you on a license plate or you see it in a sign or a song comes on. Maybe it's a song you were thinking about recently. You turn on the radio and it's on. These are synchronicities. These are coming in from your higher self, from your guides to help remind you that you are more than this human avatar. So bring more awareness to what's happening throughout your day. You don't need to be searching for that big, magical, awakening moment. You don't have to be waiting for your guides to appear in front of you. They are speaking through you. And the doorway to that is through the heart, through your heart space, right? So the more you connect with your body, 
the more you'll be able to start to open up your experience to the multidimensional energy, to the multidimensional experiences. You're going to start to rely less on the fact that you're a just a human being and more in this knowing that you are much more than your physical avatar. And that can shift as simply as shifting your mindset and your beliefs. Remind yourself throughout your day that you are a multi-dimensional being. Keep telling yourself that. Your body will believe what it is told. And your subconscious will start to be reprogrammed into that new set of beliefs. And you have the power of intent using your consciousness to be able to shift your beliefs. So if you're finding that you're anxious, you're stressed, uh, you just don't know your purpose, you don't know why you're here, you just feel like there's got to be something greater, right? That is a sign that you're becoming identified as the human being, that you are ungrounded or separated from your body. Your focus is not internal, your focus is external. It's too focused into the external reality. That's a sign for you to turn it around and give yourself some self-love, some compassion, some self-care, and connect with your body through breathing and grounding, meditating, whatever works for you throughout your day to slow the mind down. It's the mind that is associated or identified with that human being, with that human condition, with that separateness, right? Start to release those chains that are tying you to that 3D reality. Get back inside. And when you're out about your day, Start to be a little bit more aware of those signs and synchronicities that are there. Your higher self and your guides are providing those for you. And start to just constantly tell yourself throughout your day. Remind yourself, I am multidimensional. Remind yourself throughout your day to take a few breaths inward and feel that, say that, affirm that. I am multidimensional. I am a limitless being of energy. Your body and your mind will start to align with that belief. It will let go of that old conditioned human separateness response, that fight or flight mechanism being cut off from the whole, and your body will start to relax, your energy will start to flow, and you realize that more of those synchronicities will start to manifest in your reality, and you'll start to experience more of your inner being. More of your higher self will start to come forward. More of your guidance a better connection to your intuition. Maybe your guides will then start to come forward and reveal themselves to you in a more obvious way. Okay, so you don't need to sit around and wait for these big things to happen. You have the power within you to start to recondition and reprogram your mindset, which will reprogram your body and your subconscious to the fact that you are a multi-dimensional, limitless being. Make a commitment to do that each and every day throughout your day and in a matter of a few days to a week in the next month for sure, you're going to start to realize that your reality is starting to change and things that you once were searching for that you felt separated some from are going to start coming into your existence.